in our kit they provided us with some wiring here but as you can see based on where we put our solenoid the wires aren't long enough so we got to make new wires here um, so I'm gonna make some new wires and we'll be back in a minute all right we're ready to start wiring now we got our new wires you can see my diagram from the right side of the solenoid we're going to go to the top of the starter and go over here and get my bolts that I left over here and there they are so we are going to go from the right side of the solenoid to the top post of the starter which is going to require our wire here and a lock washer and one of the larger nuts so we're going from the right side of the solenoid Just gonna finger tighten that in here. Now we're just gonna run through and we'll get put some grommets in there, some tape to keep it from chafing. And again, we'll go into the top post of the starter. You don't want too much extra wire on this because you'll end up touching the block which of course gets hot. Alright, so we're just going to put this bolt back on. So that one's wired to the right place. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to take our other wire off of the left side of the solenoid. We need our lock washer and our nut here. This one and this one. here and it goes to this back post on the starter solenoid which is kind of difficult to get to and not lose I'm hanging upside down. All right, so that's on there. And we can take up the slack and tie it up on the other end because we don't want a whole bunch of slack. But we want enough that'll allow us to move stuff around if we have to like this. All right, so there's that. Now, you'll notice on the 
terminal or on the solenoid here there's an I post you can see it right there and there's an S post technically this yellow cable right here that's in this harness needs to be connected to the S terminal well we want to retain as much originality as humanly possible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a wire down here and this was a wire that I was using for my previous setup because somebody was bypassing the neutral safety switches which work so I don't know why they were doing that somebody that owned the tractor before me all right so we're gonna put that right there we're gonna take this red wire right here put that back on there and that will tie together with this um, I'm gonna put a new end on that and I'm going to put a new end on this so that they can tie together. Um, just basically bolt together just like that and then stay together. Um, I may just put them together. Actually, you know what? I don't like this wire at all. We're going to make a whole new wire. That's what we're going to do. I don't like that wire. It's not big enough. All right. So we're going to make a new wire and connect it to the S terminal to this yellow wire here. And that completes the wiring of the solenoid itself. That's all that needs to be wired to the solenoid. All right, now we're going to wire the starter side. These are the two battery cables that were originally over here at the starter. And you can see I'm running them to a switch. These are positive cables. Um, again, I have another cutoff on the negative side, or I'm going to have another cutoff on the negative side, but I wanted this one as well. One, it gives me a place to put the battery cables so that there's not so much going over here to the starter solenoid. Um, two, it's another cutoff. Um, cuts power to everything beyond this point as well. So we're going to wire this whole thing up. Uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward for the most part. And we'll go look at our diagram here in a second just to make sure I'm looking at it right. Black, blue, brown, red positives. Yep. All right. So. Of course, first thing is we need to take our main positive and put it to this top post where we put one of the uh, points from the secondary solenoid. So let's go ahead and put that on there. And that's a little tight, so I'm going to take my drill here. I'm just going to ream that hole a little bit. Go from the other side. I just don't, I don't like it when they're so tight they can mess up the threads. It's a little better but not much. The other thing I'm going to do before I do this, because I'm sitting here looking, this other solenoid post right here isn't used, but it's still open, so I'm actually going to tape that up right here to ensure that it doesn't touch it too much. So let me get my electrical tape, which I just had a minute ago, probably on the other side of the tractor or over there by the toolbox. Is. So two things, I'm going to use my electrical tape and tape up this right here. Just give me a warm and fuzzy. Make it thick because the tractor vibrates. There. There's that. Now we're going to hit this again with the drill because it's still not fitting on there real good. I'm trying to 
trying not to. And there it went. I mean, it's good if they're tight, but if they're too tight, you can mess up the threads. And I don't want to do that. So we put that one on there. Now it fits real good. I sit down. Huh. Nuts and bolts. We're going to save these for a second. You can see right here somebody made a junction wire for this, which will include this so we don't have to cut those. But we're going to put those on there. We're going to make a new wire. Um, mainly because I don't like this one and it doesn't need to be that long. We can just go dink dink right there. So we're going to make a new rot wire real quick and then we'll come back and we'll finish wiring that up. out throw it away all right now we're going to take our little screw that was already on there we're going to combine all three of these into one lovely let's get these back to back facing each other Alright, so our now this is now our brown and blue wires. Go right here on this as well. Along with this. And we'll double check our schematic. We've got blue, we've got brown, we've got our red from our solenoid, and our red from our battery cables. So we can go ahead and put our nuts back on, which we moved on herself again put that on there if I remember right this is a 5 8 inch bolt here or nut it's either 5 8 or 9 16 I don't remember 5 8 That's good and tight. The back one needs to be tightened. I'll have to go get a the right size wrench for that. Um, there's your back one. And all that's hooked up. Now uh, you'll see this wire that I talked about previously on the secondary solenoid. I ran all the way down and I decided to just put in a splice. We'll put some tape on that instead of doing ring to ring like we did before um, and again because somebody messed around with it I've got to make some changes here you shouldn't really have to mess with this portion but I've got to cut this and put that right there so I've got to put a ring on that but that's it for wiring the starter your solenoids wired 